Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ, and welcome to our afternoon mass this morning. Coming to you live from St. Columbus, Prince of Peace Parish Mission in Mallow. As we are getting closer to Christmas, we must be prepared. The Lord wants us to follow his ways and follow his commandments and to give up our ways of greed and corruption. Because there is no room for greed and corruption in this world today. Greed and corruption cause hunger, homelessness, and the poor in our society. First of all, we're going to pray for world peace. Almighty and everlasting God, may our grace and kindle in all of us the love of a love for the many unfortunate people whom poverty and misery reduce the condition of life unworthy of human beings. Arouse in our hearts of those who call you Father of hunger and thirst for justice and peace and from fraternal, fraternal charity in deeds and in truth. Grant, O Lord, peace in our days, peace to our souls, and peace to our families, and peace to our country, and peace among nations. Amen. Let us also pray for our sick. O oh my God, give me the grace and patience in my suffering and sub submission to your holy will. I offer the sinless in reparation for my sins and the sins of the world. And I unite myself with the bitter sufferings and death of my Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all, and also with you. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open and all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worldly magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear what our Lord Jesus Christ says. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment and the second is like it. And you shall love your neighbor as, as yourself. On these two commandments depend all the laws and the prophets. Lord, have mercy in us and write these your laws and our hearts. God so loved this world that he gave his only son Jesus Christ to save us from our sins. To intercede for us in heaven and to bring us to everlasting life. Let us then confess our sins in penitence and faith, bearing the resolve to keep God's commandments to live in love and peace. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned and taught and word of thee, and in what we have left and done, we are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy in us and forgive us, that we may walk in the newness of life to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy in us, Pardon and deliver us from all our sins and confer them and strengthen us in all goodness and keep us in everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord of mercy. Christ of mercy. Lord of mercy. Father in heaven who sent your Son to redeem the world, and will sin again him to be our judge. Give us grace so to imitate him, that the humility and purity of his first coming 
that when he comes again we may be ready to greet him with joyful love and firm faith. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And our first reading today is taken from the book of Isaiah. Chapter 39. Chapter 40. Sorry. Chapter 40. Verse 40. No. Chapter 40 verses 25 to 31. To whom then will you like, liken me, or to whom shall I be made equal, says the Holy One. Lift up your eyes on high and see who has created these things, who brings out their force by number. He calls them by all by name, by the greatness of his might and the strength of his power. No one is missing. Why do you say, O Jacob, O speak, and speak, O Israel? My way is hidden from the Lord. And my just claim is passed over by the my God. Have you not known and have you not heard the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of things, of the ends of the earth? Neither faints nor is weary, he is understanding and is unsearchable. He gives power to the weak, and to those who have no might he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with the wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. This is the word of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. And our psalm today is Psalm 103, verses 8 to 15. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and of great kindness. He will not always accuse us, neither will he keep his anger forever. He is not, has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor awarding us according to our wickedness. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy upon those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far as he has he set out our sins from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so is the Lord merciful towards those who fear him. For he knows of what we are made, and he remembers that we are but dust. Our days are but as grass, we flourish as the flower of the field. For as soon as the wind goes over, it is gone, and his place shall be known no more. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Hear the gospel of our Savior Christ, according to Matthew. <coughs> Chapter 18, verses 12. The fourteen. What do you think if a man has a hundred sheep <clears throat> and one of them goes astray? Does he not leave the ninety-nine and go to the mountains to seek the one that is strained? And if he should find it, surely I say to you, he rejoices more over that sheep than over the ninety-nine that did not go astray. Even so it is, not the will of your Father who is in heaven, that one of these little ones should perish. Moreover, if your brother sins against you, tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he hears you, you have gained your brother. This is the gospel of our Savior Christ. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. We have a prayer that the Lord gave us. It's known as the Lord's Prayer. And it's a very important prayer. And, and not alone that, but there's a lot in it. There's a lot in it because if you think of it, 
the tens of Selah as well. We pray to our Father who is in heaven. We say, Hello be thy name. His name is above all other names. And then we ask him to forgive us our trespasses, forgive us our sins. And remember, as we forgive those who trespass against us. So before God can forgive us our sins, we must forgive our brothers and sisters as well. That's the hard part. And then we ask him not to lead us into temptation. Keep us free from sin. It's not easy. All we can do is our best. He is forgiving. But remember we must love our neighbor as ourselves. And we also must forgive our brothers. Before we can God will forgive us. Either we can love our neighbor, we can love God. Very shortly we'll be celebrating the birth of Christ. Have you prepared the way for him? If you walked into your life tomorrow morning, would you welcome him? Remember, he made us all in his own image. So if you can, and we are not to judge anyone. He tells us that he is the supreme ruler and judge over all this earth. And we better never forget it. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us profess our faith. We believe in one God. The Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and of all that is seen and unseen. And we believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father. God from God, through God, from through God, begotten, not made. Of one being with the Father and through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate by the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake he was crucified on the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. And on the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven. And is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit. The Lord, the giver of life. Who proceeds from the Father and the Son. Who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, and we acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and we look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have promised to your Son, Jesus Christ, to hear the prayers of those who ask for the faith. Lord of your people, strengthen your churches in all the world and renew the life of the Celtic Church and also of the progressive Catholic, old, old Catholic Church. Bless Bishop Oliver and all his clergy. Bless our own Father Canon God and Paul, all our oblates and lay oblates and, those, and all our helpers and our lay helpers. And build us up in faith and love with humility, peace, and happiness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord of creation, look with favor on the world you have made. Guide all nations in the ways of justice and of peace and all governments 
to do your holy will and not give in to greed and corruption that causes homelessness and the poor and the sick and the elderly to suffer. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord of our relationships, comfort and sustain the communities in which we work. Help us to love our neighbors as ourselves. Enable us to serve our families and friends and to love one another as you love us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord of all healing, relieve and protect those who are sick or suffering. Our sister Susan, who is still undergoing treatment for cancer. Mary Annis Parkinson's in this pressure. Corey is still in the hospital recovering from heart surgery. Bill is suffering from spine problems. John is suffering from knees. Margaret is suffering. She gets a bit depressed at times. Elsa, our retired deaconess, is still ill. Abel is suffering from glaucoma. Jeanette is also suffering from spine problems. Michael is a bad eye infection. Or homeless. And most of our homelessness is caused by greed and corruption. Met a young man here who was with me the other night. Came home to find a note from a receiver that he was, could no longer stay in the place. It's justice and good enough. He was a victim of white collar crime and corruption. Not his fault. It's okay you found a place since, thank God. Our elderly who are alone at this time of the year, and this weather is getting cold and damp, we have to look after our neighbors and their our neighbors, our poor in our society who need hot food, and our homelessness who are sleeping rough on the side of the street because they can't afford rent. Right across the world, we have homelessness people who cannot afford rent. And yet we can look after people from other countries while our own suffer. Why? Because governments get paid to look after refugees. Charity begins at home. We can't look after our own and have respect for our own people. How can we expect other people to have respect for us? They also with those who have any special needs. Deliver all who know danger. Those in war foreign countries and with violence and oppression. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord of all eternity, bind us together by your Holy Spirit. And commune with all who have passed away without making peace with you. And all who have been confessed to faith have died in the peace of Christ. At this time, we ask also, Lord, to pray for the family of Altru Marx, whose mother, whose mother just passed away recently. Grant them comfort and peace that you alone can only give. That we may entrust ourselves and one another and our whole life to you, Lord God. And come with all your saints to the joys of your everlasting kingdom. Amen. Merciful Father, accept these our prayers for the sake of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. We do not presume to come to this your table, merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under your table, 
But you are the same Lord whose nature is always to have mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made king by his body, and our souls washed through his most precious blood, and that we may ever more do well in him, and he in us. Amen. If you forgive others their sins, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive you your sins. And the peace of the Lord be with you always, and also with you. Let us offer each other a sign of that peace. Peace be in your hearts and in your homes and in your countries. And peace to your neighbors and your friends. Wise and gracious God, you spread a table before us, nourish your people with the word of life and the bread of heaven. Amen. Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us, therefore let us celebrate the feast. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord, let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. All glory, honor, thanks, and praise be given to you at all times and in all places. Lord, Holy Father, true and living God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. For he is your eternal word, through whom you have called, who you have created all things from the beginning, and formed us in your own image. In him the day of your deliverance is dawned. We rejoice that through him you make all things new, and we look for his coming in power and majesty to judge the world. In your great love you gave him to be made man for us and to share our common life. Therefore, with the angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name forever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the Merciful Father, we thank you for these gifts of your creation. The spread and this wine, and we pray that we who eat and drink them, in the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, in obedience to our Saviour Christ, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his body and blood. Who on the night he was betrayed, he took bread, and when he had given you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In a similar way, after supper, he took the cup. Again, giving you thanks and praise, he gave the cup to his disciples and said, Drink from this, all of you. This is my body, my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Father, with this bread and this cup, with you as our Savior is commanded, we celebrate the redemption he has won for us, and we proclaim his perfect sacrifice made once for all upon the cross, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and we look for his coming 
Fulfill all, all things according to your will. Christ has died. Christ has risen. Christ will come again. Renew us by your Holy Spirit and unite us with the body of your Son. Bring us with all your people into the joys of your everlasting kingdom. Through Christ our Lord. By whom, with whom, and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of never-ending praise. Blessing and honor and glory and power are yours, now and forever. Amen. And as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The bread which we break is a sharing in the body of Christ. For we being many are one body, for we all share in the one. Draw near with faith, receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ which he gave to you, and his blood which he shed for you. Remember, he died for you, and feed him in your hearts by faith and thanksgiving. Jesus Christ is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his son. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I, my soul shall be healed. body of our Lord Jesus Christ which was given for you. Preserve your body and soul to everlasting life. Take and eat this and remember that Christ died for you and feed them in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was shed for you, preserve your body and soul to everlasting life. Drink this and remember that Christ's blood was shed for you, and be thankful. O Sarkman most holy, O Sarkman divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Anyone who eats my flesh and drinks my blood is everlasting life, and I shall raise him up on the last day. O Sarkman most holy, O Sarkman divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. And anyone who wanted to receive communion this morning can do so spiritually. All you have to do is welcome our Lord into your hearts. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world of mercies. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world of mercies. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord, here you have nourished us with the food of life. Through our sharing of this holy sacrament, teach us to judge wisely earthly things and to earn for things in heaven. heavenly. And we ask to this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Father of all, we give you thanks and praise that when you were still far off, you met us and your son brought us home. 
dying and living he declared your love and gave us grace and opened the gate of glory. May we who share Christ's body live his risen life, and we who drink his cup bring life to others, and we whom the Spirit lights give light to the world. Keep us firm in the hope you have set before us, so that we and all your children shall be free, and the whole earth live to praise your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the spiritual food of the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your spirit to live and to walk to your praise and glory. Amen. And the peace of the Lord, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Come down upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord and to love your neighbor as yourself. Amen. Thank you for joining me this morning from St. Columbus Parish Mission. Prince of Peace Parish Mission. It came to my attention yesterday. That a man from Pakistan, a fellow by the name of Francis Iqbal, wanted to become a deacon. Well, he wanted to become ordained as well, but he, but he didn't get that far. Wanted to become a deacon with the Celtic Community Church. His intentions were not for the work of God. His intentions were to collect money for himself. I revoked his license on the 1st of December and he went to join other churches looking for the same thing as he would looked up of my church. We don't walk like that. Thank you for listening. Just be careful to other church leaders and engineers, be careful of who we greet and take in. Because we can take in a wolf and sheep's clothing. But the good Lord will look after us, as he always does. Thank you for listening to me and have a good day with your family and with your friends. And may you have a blessed, holy happiness and love for Christmas. And remember, Christ is Christmas. Forget about the buntings, forget about the lights and the Christmas trees. The man we look at, the man that had the first Christmas came from a, a manger because there was no room for him in the end. Remember our Lord was homeless the day he was born. So God bless you all and have a good day.